Disappearing Griller. Written by Catherine Pistano. Performed by Harvey Bassett. Sound design by Richard Norris. When I was a baby, I disappeared. Well, not really. I was born in the forests of Cameroon. My mother held me in her arms as she fed me the choicest of leaves. She had a lovely face and the nicest smile. The sun shone through the canopy and I was happy. And then, one ordinary day, as I played in the jungle clearing, I was suddenly caught up in a nasty net. I could hear screaming from my mother. Bad men took me away and onto a boat. I was so sick and I was sad for the longest time. I ended up in England on Guy Fawkes night. So they called me Guy. All of a sudden, I began to grow until I was much bigger and stronger than all the other animals people had seen before in the zoo. I was larger and darker and more fearsome, or so they said. People screamed when I looked at them. I tried to smile, but they screamed louder. I stepped closer to them with my arms outstretched to show how friendly I was. They screamed and turned and fled. It was kind of lonely, you know. Being misunderstood all the time and accidentally scaring people was no fun. As I sat, with my head hanging down, feeling sorry for myself and my bad luck, I saw a tiny sparrow had come into my cage. He was so small and soft with lovely brown feathers. He didn't seem afraid of me. I delicately reached out and stroked his tiny head. I brought him up closer towards my eyes. I heard screaming in the background. Uh, I guess people thought, or did they hope, that I was going to bite him up. But hey, no. I looked at him and he looked at me. He was not afraid. I I finally had a friend. He and his mates came to see me regularly and we had such fun. After that, people didn't scream so much. They seemed to decide that I wasn't so scary after all. I became famous as Guy the Gorilla, the gentle giant. I didn't feel so lonely anymore with the birds and the bees and the mice and the spiders visiting my enclosure. This picture shows me with one of my butterfly pals. P.S. I didn't eat her. So, after all these difficulties, once people decided to like me, life became a lot better. It's nice when people don't turn away screaming when I smile at them. I lived much more happily, though I still miss my mum and hope she was okay. The public put up a statue to me, their silver back superstar. They even started to protect others like me in our home country. I am so glad, as I would not like any other gorillas to disappear.